What's new in New York City in 2023? Take some notes. It's gonna be a great year. There's over 13 new shows coming to New York in 2023 on Broadway. And here are some of my favorites. New York, New York at the St. James Theater with music by Lin-Manuel Miranda. The story of a post-World War II New York told through song opening April 26th. Where are my Nathan Lane fans at? Pictures from Home Stars, the Broadway mainstay opens on February 9th. I love the 80s. I've been curious about this one for a while. The Back to the Future musical opens on August 3rd. Great Scott. And perhaps the most interesting of all, Once Upon a More Time, long awaited Britney Spears musical telling her life story opens June 22nd. She will not be starring in it though. It's just her music. Think of it like the Gloria Estefan musical. Speaking of Broadway theaters, the Palace Theater is reopening on Broadway at some point in 2023. Originally, it was one of the most famous vaudeville theaters in the world where Judy Garland used to play. Now, it sits 30 feet above Times Square. It took four months to lift the 14 million pound theater with hydraulic jacks. There are a lot of new attractions this year. We'll start with the Richard Gilder Center for Science, Education, and Innovation opening February 17th, which is an extension of the American Museum of Natural History. The 230,000 square foot project is located on the west side of the museum. Visitors are first gonna enter the atrium, a four-story civic space, which I think is gonna be one iconic photo. Some cool exhibits include Invisible Worlds, a unique immersive experience that illustrates how all life on Earth is connected. Gallery devoted to Earth's most diverse an abundant animal group and home of the largest leaf cutter ant colony in the US. You also have a space where you'll see 80 species of free flying butterflies. If you are planning on going to the Museum of Natural History anyway, this is extra incentive. White Cube, one of the most famous British art galleries, is opening a New York gallery in the spring of 2023. Now, it's going to be located on Madison Ave in the Upper East Side. The building is going to house public gallery spaces and private viewing rooms across three floors. If it's anything like the British version, it's going to be free admission. The Urban Civil Rights Museum is coming this year, New York's first museum dedicated to the civil rights movement. It will explore the impact of urbanization on African Americans and recount stories from the Harlem Renaissance. It's also gonna showcase the role of the urban civil rights movement in the development of cities across America. For anyone planning on visiting Little Italy, listen up. The Italian American Museum is reopening after a few years of construction. It's gonna be on the corner of Grand and Mulberry. The new museum will cover 6,500 square feet on four floors, covering everything from immigration to what life was like in Little Italy, even to how Italian Americans see themselves today with media depictions. The Pearlman, or the PAC at the World Trade Center opening this year with live theater, dance music, and chamber opera performances in Lower Manhattan. The facade will be wrapped in translucent marble from the same Vermont quarry as the United States Supreme Court and the Jefferson Memorial, and it's going to appear bright white by day and glowing from within by night. Maybe this will give the shed a run for the money as one of the most interesting and unique performing art spaces in all the city. If you ever thought your town had too many Karens, you're probably gonna love the Karen Diner. Coming to the West Village of Manhattan on March 1st, it's gonna be a roving pop-up. There's a bunch of burgers on the menu, including the I Wanna See the Manager, the Vegan Trippy Karen Burger, and of course, the Basic Karen. New York opened its first legal recreational marijuana dispensary the last week of December at Housing Works, and they're expecting to open up many more in 2023. The Lower Manhattan store is the first of 36 recently licensed dispensaries. Now you must be 21 years of age to purchase, and they will be opening up bike deliveries soon. Yes, this will be like Uber Eats. At some point this month, Grand Central is going to open its $11 billion project, Grand Central Madison. The East Side Access Terminal aims to bring in 60% more traffic into Manhattan from Long Island at peak times, cutting down congestion at Penn Station during rush hour. It's the largest new train terminal to be built in the United States since the 1950s and the first expansion of the LIRR in more than 100 years. And what I think is the most interesting for my 
viewers are the new art installations. Yayoi Kusuma and Kiki Smith have made floor to ceiling mosaics. It is definitely gonna be worth a visit even if you're not commuting to and from Long Island. For my tourists watching, if you're flying to JFK Airport, Pay attention if your hotel is on the east side of Manhattan because they're adding something new called the Grand Central Direct, a shuttle running from Jamaica Station to Grand Central Madison. So if your hotel is nearby, you don't just have to go to Penn Station anymore. For my train lovers out there, an Amtrak train route that has been named one of the top 10 most scenic train rides in the world by Nat Geo is coming back after a three year pause. It departs from Moynihan in New York all the way to Montreal, Quebec Central Station. The ride covers 400 miles in 10 hours. So while it's slower than driving, if you just want to stare out the window at the Adirondacks, you're going to love this ride. Am I on your video? Are you crashing my video? Competing videos? <laughs> Look who I bumped into. Hi. What's up, Sarah? Check out Sarah's channel if you haven't already. Sarah Funk, great New York City content as well. Right back at you. I'm actually putting John in my upcoming video too. And you have some pretty good advice on upcoming restaurants. So check that out. Let's talk some new hotels. And probably the biggest one opening is the Virgin Hotel on February 1st, located on the corner of 29th and Broadway, just south of Koreatown. 500 rooms or chambers as they're called. And it's going to have a bunch of restaurants, a rooftop pool and bar, rooms starting at $298 per night. Hilton's newest brand will debut in New York City with the opening of Tempo by Hilton Times Square. The 661 room lifestyle hotel is located at TSX Broadway, also which is gonna open this year and be a really big deal. The city's new 46 story entertainment and hospitality destination. The 36th floor hotel is gonna feature views of the city and the iconic lights of Times Square through floor to ceiling windows. And you know what all these new hotels have in common? They won't be cheap. Are you planning an observation deck visit? The Edge is opening the highest skating rink in the Western Hemisphere January 10th. 1,200 square foot glyce rink called Skyscape. Located on the indoor section of the edge, the synthetic ice is made from zero energy, ecological glyce, making Skyscape environmentally friendly. And it's only 10 extra dollars at 48 bucks. This includes your admission to the edge. I am really curious how those views are gonna be from the inside. If you're visiting New York in 2023, you probably wanna go to an observation deck. In this video, we visit all five in one day to show you which one's best. Head here next.